you can lower the feed teeth or the feed dogs with this little slide button down here. Now those are the teeth that pull your fabric through. So why would you lower them? Times like when you are sewing buttons on. So for example, when you go to stitch number nine, it will show you an, a picture of the teeth lowered below the throat plate. So you're gonna slide those down. You have a little bit more room, then the teeth aren't touching underneath the button while you're trying to secure it to the fabric, doesn't slip around. The other time that you will find needing to lower them is for free motion work. If you go to your set menu with your tools picture here and arrow down to where the free motion options are, there's two of them the free motion floating or the free motion spring action, depending on which foot you're using. When you touch OK, same thing. The foot will, and there, we have put an X and then we close out the set menu. See that little indicator? That is the lower your feed dog picture. Now, here's the thing about feed dogs when they're lowered. When you go to push them back, they do not come up until you actually take a stitch. So you can turn it by hand if you wanna actually see them come up or you can even just start sewing. They will come up as soon as you take your first stitch.